hi and how are you? Hope this finds you well, keeping healthy and positive in these really, really strange times. Now, welcome. Welcome to my online courses for speech and drama for my tiniest students, the most keen and the most fun students that I have. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Zuzi Ford and I am a classically trained actor. I studied at the University of Western Sydney in a PN, but I'm also a writer and a director and a producer. I've studied communications at the University of Technology and I have worked, oh my goodness, as pretty much anything and everything in the entertainment industry. I work as an actor, I worked as a uh, stunt performer, as a writer, director, producer, coordinator, presenter, uh, even an editor. I've painted sets and pretty much anything. Now, for the past 17 years since my daughters were born, I have also been a teacher and a mentor to young students and those young at heart, teaching presenting skills, communication skills, social skills, and also obviously acting and writing and creative skills. Now, these are really, really absurd times and we're stuck at home, unable to access live classes. And I felt really sorry for some of my, my tiny students who are left out and missing out on all the fun and I miss them very much too. So I've created an eight week course for them for something that they can do at home in their own time whenever they feel like it these are courses that are videoed so you can press a pause and run off and and do other things or come back because we know sometimes focus is an issue but they will also encourage focus of course and they are i'm hoping everyone in the family can get involved because that one is one of the best ways to teach children is just to play with them talk with them ask them questions do role play read with them and and just pretty much have fun and these courses are supposed to be fun fun for everyone now a little bit about them there are eight sessions and each session has a couple of different sections and these sections actually focus on different skills so i'll just introduce it to you the parents the keepers of the young minds so you understand what we are trying to do the first one is called let's get physical and that is all about warming up the body and understanding how the body works for public speaking and presenting and acting, which means focusing on the breathing, proper breathing and the voice and articulation, modulation, all those things that come with the voice. Um, we also look at warming up the imagination. So it's all doing things on the spur of the moment, being able to just get up and do. That is pretty much a do, you know, not just sit because we are doers. So that's what I'm trying to encourage the children to do. Just be a, be yourself. The next section is called From the Witch's Cold Room. And uh, the girls and boys will know some of these exercises. They're some of their favorites. Um, for example, the witch's house. And these encourage um, listening skills, obviously, as well as their ability to answer. That's reasoning skills, to be able to present an argument, a point of view. And there are some role plays. They can be teachers, they can be sellers, they can be um, storytellers. And this teaches pretty much the public speaking skills, such as persuasive speeches, um, informative speeches, a special occasion speeches, narratives, anecdotes, all those things. So that's from the witch's house. They need to be able to present an argument, answer in full sentences and to make sure that it actually answers the question. Then we have uh, something that I personally love. It's called fooling around with Luna and Tick, with lunatic. And this is all about body language. This is all about the ability, first of all, to have fun and just forget about, you know, controlling yourself. It's all about confidence to be yourself, just to, to play and fool around and to make mistakes because it is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to fail and clowns are brilliant at that. So Luna is a clown, Tick is a clown. And uh, these exercises will again encourage communications through your body, body language and enhancing, you know, gesture, facial expressions and all those things that are part of communicating and communication. And finally, we have some 
special guests. We've got Fairy Floss, fantastic, fabulous Fairy Floss, who is the literary boss of the literary world. Now, this encourages, obviously, it's all to do with poetry and storytelling. So it's all about telling stories, listening to stories, being able to recreate stories, understanding rhyme, understanding pace, understanding rhythm, and just having fun with books and literature. Now, I have used my daughter, who is my little helper, to understand and show the children what they need to do. They can act with us, obviously shout out, the answers shout out, you know, do the exercises with us or they can watch and then pause and try and do it with, with you um, and they can teach you. That's the best way. And again, just have fun. I apologize. The quality is not the best because it is just shot in my own home, in my own living room, so to speak, that I've created into a bit of a studio. But it's just so that the kids have something to do and that they don't forget about us and about, you know, having fun with acting and speaking. And I really miss them. I hope to see them soon. Now, well, enjoy the lessons and I'll see you hopefully soon in person, face to face. Bye.